Just a note before beginning, we have to acknowledge the passing of Lance. Very, very tragic, even though he was technically old at the age of 60. Still, he clearly had a very long career ahead of him, so very sad passing. I will also have to spoil one little aspect of John Wick 4. He is not in the film that much, so if you wanted to go to the theater to see a final great big performance, I can't guarantee that. So that is a minor spoiler. He is in the film, but his role is very small. There are a lot of actors who are being advertised who are in this film. They are not in the film that long, so you got to be careful. You may pay for your ticket, but be careful what you're paying for. I'll just say that much, but very sad passing of Lance. Now let's get on to John Wick 4 proper. Is it great? Well, critics are split. If you want wall-to-wall -wall action, this has it. In fact, technically Donnie is more of a star than Keanu, because Keanu apparently just dips out for a little bit as they prepare the next action scene. It's not wall-to-wall -wall action, there are pauses, but basically this is just a lot of action scenes put together. There doesn't seem to be much of a plot, or even frankly character, and at this point, Wick is virtually invincible. That is a problem I had with part three, but apparently they have not cured that problem. He is in danger, you will like the action and the fighting, but it's not real prospect of him getting down for the count, so that is a bit of a minor problem with this film. Besides that, everything else seems very excellent. Performances, stunts, special effects, music, everything seems to be very, very on point, but this is very long. This is over two and a half hours, so even if you are a Wick fanatic, this may be a little bit too much and not much of a story to carry it forward. Bill Skarsgård is very charismatic, but there's not much in terms of characters in this film, which is, I think, a big strength of the Wick franchise, that it does have distinct characters, but they are here, but they don't really do that much. There is also, forewarning, a slow intro. So if you think you showed up for the wrong film, just be patient. It's a very slow intro, but once the intro is over, it's on. The action is going to be nonstop. There will be a few pauses, but it will be beginning to end an action fest. If that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. But if you wanted a more substantive story, or even a final great Lance performance, this may not be it for you. So just fair warning. Very good film, but it is mainly just action and that is all it is now with dungeons and dragons it's a little bit stronger there overall reviews are very positive however some of the special effects still feel a little undone so they have to work with a the budget there also may be too much comedy in this now <laughs> if you are a big fan of DD, &D, that is how it works however they may have gone a little overboard here critics overall seem to like it but yes if you wanted a more serious tone this is not the film for you. This is very clearly aware of what its audience is. There are tons and tons of Easter eggs. Now, I won't be upfront. I'm not a hardcore fan. I may miss a lot of these, but if you are really big fan of D&D, you're going to get a lot. There are tons and tons of Easter eggs and a ton of in-jokes that they will have for you. And the basic story is strong, but it is kind of plain. It's just they have to face an adversary. So in terms of stunts and fights it's not bad but it is sort of basic and the setup is pretty simple they have to retrieve items etc cetera, etc cetera, do a quest and face a final big bad if you are a DD fanatic there are tons and tons of easter eggs but even if you're a more passive fan you'll enjoy the basic adventure story and the way they're just having fun with the whole franchise and it looks overall pretty good so it should be in a very enjoyable experience but again this will not be for everyone if you wanted a more serious tone or a more serious look at the mythology this may not be for you there are also apparently contradicting a few things in the lore so they may be shifting a few things and that may rankle some of the hardcore people be forewarned this is a very good film by all standards but it may not be for everyone so there we are so both john wick and dnd look to be monster hits but they may not please all the hardcore fans in every single way and a sad passing of lance